My name is Morten Nielsen and I'm one of the owners of ISODAN. ISODAN is founded in 1974 and since 1974 we have been working with sustainable insulation materials. For the past 35 years we have been producing production plants which are able to produce organic based insulation materials. ISODAN Engineering develops and produces high-tech production plants for the production of cellulose and fibre insulation materials. The production plant is built into a shipping container. This means that the plant can be placed exactly where you want it and is easily relocated. All of our plants are designed and constructed with a focus on customer-specific requirements such as quality, operational stability, user-friendliness and low operating costs. Isodan systems are unique in the way that they are mobile and delivered as a fully plug-and-play ready solution. Cardboard, paper and hemp can be turned into an effective insulation material, which is ideal for insulation against both heat and cold. In the recycling of cellulose and fibre materials and in the transformation of the materials into an insulation product, the production plant contributes to solve eminent environmental problems on the way to a more sustainable resource approach. We would like to present our production line for producing cellulose-based insulation material. The plant is what you see behind us and we will take you through the details step by step. What you see behind me are the first step in the production line, which is the pre-squitter. The pre-squitter here are configured for using newsprint and cardboard material. It's placed on the conveyor belt, whereafter it's led into the pre-squitter. The pre-squitter here is a single standard unit. It could also be a smaller unit which are integrated in the container. Once the material have been pre-squitted, then it's led into what we call the main mechanical uh, handling station. Inside here, we are transporting everything pneumatically in a closed pipeline meaning that we have no undesired dust or anything else coming out of the production line. There's a bulkhead placed in the container, so we are having all the main noisy parts placed in the same compartment, and the container is soundproof. Depending on the type of insulation material that's going to be produced and the type of raw material, then we need to add some additives into the production. What you see behind me is what we call a salt mixer. This is for dry chemicals, depending on the type of uh, raw material, uh, be other kind of fluid material. In that case, the setup will be a bit different from what you see here. The plant is fully electrical operated. We have a, quite a big control panel built into the container. And uh, in the control panel, we are able to control every single motor. We can adjust the speed, we can adjust the settings on basically everything in the plant. One of the unique features about our plants are that we are able to support them by a long distance. Due to that we have an internet connection fitted into the control panel of the plant, we are able to log on to the plant no matter where it's located in the world, as long as it has access to the internet. Here at the rear end of the plant is where we're having the filling station. That's where we are packing the finished produced material. It's coming through a cyclone, where after in this case it's packed into paper bags. These paper bags can be compressed uh, meaning that it takes up less space once we have finished the packing. It could also be a different setup where you are adding another uh, packing station which can wrap it in plastic folio or whatever desire may be. Once the bags are filled with the finished product, they are placed on the conveyor belt behind me. Here they are being compressed so we press air out of the bags. Furthermore, they are weights and there will be a label attached to each of the bags. This specific production line can be run by the needs of only two operators, meaning that with a two-person operation, you have a full-scale production, which have a capacity of plus 1,000 kilos an hour. Isodan production facilities have high productivity and a long service life. The facilities are designed and built in Denmark can handle different kinds of cellulose materials. It is a safe, user-friendly, dust-free production environment. Comes as a plug-and-play solution built into a ship container. A standard production plant has a production capacity ranging from 500 
to 1,500 kilos of finished product per hour. It only requires power on location, 150 square meters, and it can be run by only two operators. Once the plan arrives on location, it will be in production with a few days. The only requirements on location are that the power supply is sufficient and of course the area of the footprint for the plant are available. We always, in the delivery of the plant, send our own people to set up the plant and train the staff who's going to operate the plant as well as servicing it. We will not leave before we are 100% sure that the clients had fully understood the functions of the plant and how to operate it as well as servicing it.